Neverwinter's Hell Pit is back again, and if you missed it last time, I highly recommend you at least attempt it so you can eventually get a legendary. And yes, I did say legendary mount as your first one, or to add to your legendary mount collection. Although you have to be level 80 and have an item level of 18,000 to go to hell. Players over 18k will be scaled down to 18,000 they say. And they say about 20,000. So we'll have to see what that means. Would you mind letting me know in the comments section if you ran this event the last time it was up? I'm kind of curious how many of you did. The Hell Pit is an event where you must survive waves of enemies in an arena style combat. If you survive, you get tokens based on the difficulty of the challenge. And if you like my videos, please subscribe and like because it gives my channel a boost on YouTube. You can only succeed once a day. You can try as many times as you desire within each day until you succeed. Every seven successes will increase the difficulty and payout. This is a solo event, so you can't be in a party. The event runs for 21 days. A minimum participation of 14 successes is needed to gain access to the participation rewards. More than 14 will give you tokens for additional rewards. The progress is tracked on an account level. The daily completion can only be done once per account. And as I said before, you have to be level 80 and have an item level of at least 18,000. The event store will contain three sections each with different things you can purchase with different tokens you get based on how often you play and how far along you progress. You get tokens of achievement, tokens of flames, and tokens of brimstone. In my opinion, in Neverwinter's Hell Pit, the big reward this time around is the legendary Golden Warhorse, which has its very own combat power called Golden Dutch, which deals damage to your target. And the equip power gives you an additional 10,000 critical avoidance so if you don't already have a legendary mount, or want one for that additional critical avoidance, I think a legendary mount is a very cool reward, especially since they cost millions of astral diamonds on the auction house. The event rewards are account bound, so you can't sell or trade them, but you can give the rewards to your favorite alternate character if you don't want the rewards for your main. If you don't have the time to do enough of these to get the mount, the Runic Bag of Holding is a great choice, since inventory space is a premium, or at least make sure you get the Greater Bag of Holding, or a Coalescent Ward. Participating in Neverwinter's Hell Pit, a minimum amount, will give you a token of achievement. These tokens can be spent to purchase some fairly valuable items. They won't be available for the first 14 days, since you have to have 14 successes to begin unlocking the tokens of achievement and only one token of achievement will be awarded during Hell Pit, according to Cryptic. We'll see if that changes. Additional events throughout a year's time span will each give one token of achievement for minimum participation per event. You can get tokens of Brimstone. You can get up to 42 if you do all days. And as you can see, or hopefully see, these rewards are nice even though they're not quite as good as the other things you can get with the other tokens, they're still cool. And we have one more set of rewards unique to this event. Every success past 14 will give you tokens of flames. These tokens can be used to buy more goodies, including some new overload enchantments. I hope this gives you some motivation to play Hell Pit in Neverwinter this time around. Please hit that subscribe and like button if you haven't. And thanks for watching.